Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Hi. It's 9.44, but uh, let's do it. 4.7. Uh, I know I'm tired. I just, I feel like... I feel like having a laugh, all right? Michelin Web Doctor and the Ice Cream Taser. Ta I definitely read that wrong. The Doctor and the Ice Cream Taster. Preemptive, like... My name's Connor. Let's go. Hi. Connor, you got wiped out. You okay? Oh. Yeah, you know. Tough day on the ward. Yeah, yeah. A couple of new admissions. A little lad with a pronounced heart murmur. Poor little kid. I think he's gonna pull through, but Sari is back on the ventilator, which meant I had to liaise with the consultants at King's. Mm. Those guys. Exactly. Yeah, it's hitting bed crisis time, and I just don't know where I can physically fit any more severely ill children on my ward. Still, listen, sorry to unload on you. How was your day at the ice cream factory? <laughs> oh, you know, fine. Come on, it, it's okay, you can say. Rain out of chocolate chip. Well... I guess it was a bit of a hard day at the ice cream factory. <laughs> Poor you. I mean, compared to your day, it was nothing, but... It's fine. Listen, I'm we... sorry, this... I know it ruins the jokes and I'm ruining it, but it all already reminds me of the... Oh, I'm a brain surgeon. Oh, really? I'm, I'm sorry. I guess it was a bit of a hard day at the ice cream factory. <laughs> all right. No pause. Poor you. I mean, compared to your day, it was nothing, but... It's fine. Listen, we've been through this. Just because I'm a paediatrician dealing with severely ill children doesn't mean that you can't have a tough day tasting ice cream at the ice cream factory. <laughs> it's really trying to push the rum and raisin thing, you know? Trying to ride that whole kitsch revival that bombed with Raspberry Ripple. You remember that whole shitstorm? Look, we've got a similar situation, <laughs> which is I'm having to spend a lot more time than usual on the ward for children who, sadly, we, we know just aren't going to get better and, and it's hard because you know you look into their parents eyes and <laughs> did you hear the rum just don't know what to say yeah, yeah. yes that I is quite similar reason. isn't it <laughs> you know, sometimes keith I, I feel that ice cream tasting isn't somehow as important as looking after sick and dying children what oh, oh of course it is Look, I work hard saving children's lives, but you work just as hard ensuring that they've got some lovely ice cream to enjoy when they do get better. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. I'm going to go up and do some coursework for my human rights law degree. What about you? Oh, I think I'll just stay down here. Wanking. <laughs> So, Relatable. obviously it isn't finished, but was this the kind of thing? Not, not really, I, not relatable, I guess. Um, let's do another. I, I'm feeling. I have one more fake sneeze again. Guys, I'm just, I'm getting tired anyway, and it's not going to be enjoyable for anyone. Oh, this one was so funny, actually. With All right. Answer. I've already seen this one, but I'm going to watch it again. I hope you guys are doing well. See you tomorrow. Good night, sleep, sweet dreams. I didn't have it pre-liked though. Expelled from the pavlova and this the fridge is so switched true. back on at the wall, Max turns his attention to the menu. Right, the first thing to say about this menu is that it's just far too long. All right, you need food with balls. So, fresh local fish. Do fish have balls? Shut up! Have you got balls? Have you got hair on your balls? Sorry. But yes, I do have hairy balls. Shut up, you hairy ball prick! Right, so I've got some local salmon. I'm just chopping up some dill. Quick squeeze of lemon. Let it marinate for a bit. Sear it in a hot pan. Dollop of creme fraiche. Bingo. Done. Easy. Right. Now you try. <laughs> creme fraiche. Oh, this is so true. Uh, I get it. I'm not the only one who realizes that uh, ma Master Chef or... Or, like, nobody, like, they don't, ca like, Master Chef, 
you know what I'm gonna say. Master Chef or Bar Rescue or Kitchen Nightmares or, or whatever. It's just it's it's just they don't care how you do afterwards. They they want to have content and entertaining stuff. And so this is so true. It's like I can't do that. Look at all the people here. That's because you're here. <laughs> I'm ruining it. I'm sorry. What you after Dill? But Max's menu ideas seem to be causing problems. <laughs> Are you pulling my balls? <laughs> this is how I showed you to do it. What the hell is that? Well, I, I, I just... What? Well, I, I just feel... That what, mate? <laughs> what? <laughs> You're much better at this than me. <laughs> what? You're much better at cooking. That's obvious. That's why you've got a TV show and I've got a failing restaurant. Well. And it doesn't <laughs> help me for you to show people that. I can't cook that. And, and there's loads of things in there that you didn't even mention, like a thing with a potato that might as well be magic as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> it's just local ingredients simply cooked. By you! <laughs> It's just local ingredients. <laughs> King Lear is there. It's just local ingredients simply cooked. By you! King Lear is just English words put in order. <laughs> the only way any of this will help my restaurant is if you stay forever. <laughs> will you stay forever? If you can't cook a simple piece of salmon, you shouldn't have a restaurant in the first place, mate. Well, soon I won't, thanks to the fantastic advert this programme's giving me. They'll be queuing round the block when they hear all about the ants and that I can't cook. Oh, don't be silly. You've got 50 covers out there. Because you're in the kitchen. <laughs> all you've done is boast and demonstrate the fact that any fool knew already that you're better at cookery than me. OK, but will you keep it up? Keep it up? I haven't got it up, as I'm surprised you weren't the first to say. But you're making good content, which means more ads for the show, which means they make money. Who gives a crap about your show? Hey. Okay, it's been tough. Give me a hug. You despise me. Okay. Okay. Coming up next on Channel 4, Linford Christie's Sprinting Nightmares. Oh, if you ever see Kitchen Nightmares, it's just, it really kills it. It's like ignorance is bliss if you, I know, how can anyone really think reality TV is actually real, but they want content, okay? And like every now and then, like same with like Shark Tank, maybe Shark Tank different, they do want a, their investment, but the main thing that the people going all these places, I'm beating a dead horse, is to get cool content, funny content, put it on TV, get ads, that's it. And every now and then it'll crack me up like, look at this person who we worked with like six months ago last season, and they're doing great. They won't show you anyone who closed down, but uh, that just is perfect. I know this. I already saw it. I'm... Bye, guys, if somehow you're still here. I love you. Bye.